23 after, or something like that. Well, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise, praise Jesus. Jesus. Praise the Lord. I can't hear no one. Praise, praise Jesus. Praise, praise the Lord. Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Are you prepared for the glorious coming of the Messiah? Amen. Are you prepared for the glorious coming of the Messiah? Amen. Amen. We are prepared. Amen. Some have not been prepared, some prepared, and some are already ready to go. You see, I have my visa stamp, and I dressed up, and I have my suitcase, and I have everything, and I'm, I'm, just, I'm here to go to the airport, and I'm, I'm, just, I'm here just waiting for the plane to come. You're taking flight, and you have everything in your hand, and you just, you just, you just put the thing. It's my flight, baby. You're just waiting for them to call me. So we are ready to go. Amen. To enter into the kingdom of the Almighty God. It's going to be a precious, glorious sight when we can Jesus. see Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 When we can look into your hands, look to the side, look at his head where the blood. We will shed his blood for mankind. Praise God. That will be a. Oh, oh Jesus. That's why the most precious thing we have in our entirety is our soul. Amen? Amen. Anybody who understand about our soul? There are three parts of man. Your spirit, your soul, and what? Your body. Your spirit is what? God consciousness. Your spirit consciousness. What is spirit? Is it any? Conscious of God. Your spirit is conscious of God. What is it? Amen. So you walk in the spirit and you do what? Your praise in the spirit to communicate to God in the world. Your spirit, your soul, your soul is self consciousness. Your soul connects to your, your spirit, conscious about your, your surrounding. And then you have your body. What is your body? Your body is what? World consciousness. You wake up. What's going on in the news? There's a war going on over there. That's your body, your flesh. Conscious about your surrounding, what takes place in the world. What your spirit. And to the Almighty God. That's why we have to worship God. The Bible says, They that worship me must worship me in what? Spirit and truth. In spirit and in truth. That's why we have to pray, we have to fast, we have to read, and we have to study the word. Amen. Most of all, we have to know God for ourselves. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. We have to know God for ourselves. And which table we are keeping from. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Who is best? Which table? Which table we are eating from? You know, when you go sometimes, mother said, Don't eat here, don't eat here, don't eat here, don't eat here. You have to know. Because sometimes people feed you with bad food. Yeah. And it hurts you so much. Am I talking to somebody? Bad food, you know what? Hurt your stomach, it's called pain, and it's caused trouble. And sometimes you might have to vomit because the food is good. Yeah. So we have to be careful. As children, you have to be wise and listen to the voice. Where he leads, we follow. Not where someone has tried to lead you, or where you want to go, where we want to go. Where he leads, we do what? We follow. Amen. Amen. This way he said, I will never leave you, neither will I forsake you. Amen. And the scripture said, For God so loved this world that he gave us his only begotten son. My beloved, is a challenge. It's not easy enough. It's hard because when Jesus was on earth, did Jesus have it easy? No. 
Jesus Christ, Jesus, never have it easy. You know how many times they want to kill him? And the Bible says he disappeared yes. out of his sight. Just like the apostle Paul, he suffered that. Oh, oh God, none of them suffer like Paul. What if can they beat him so much and show him over the wall and leave him to the dead? He suffered ship wreck. But he stand up. They show him in prison. They call him up. Did no, no. Paul criticize the church and criticize the past and criticize Jesus? He said, I fight a good fight and I want finish the fight. We will have trials and tribulation because the devil don't want us. Mm -hmm. You think the devil wants us to be in here no. talking about Jesus? He doesn't like it. His job is to scatter us and destroy mm -hmm. us. Yeah. The Bible says Satan comes to kill, to steal, and, and to destroy. Yeah. Jesus said, I come, but you are not doing. And mm -hmm. have it much more abundant. My beloved, we have to come together, work together for the kingdom of God. God is watching every one of us here. Yeah. Every one of us here, God is watching us. And then we faithful unto God. <laughs> God will faithful to us. Yes. Don't look at me. You don't look good. You don't shake good. You don't talk good. No. We are God's children. Amen. I can make myself. Did you make yourself? Did you want to make yourself? We were created by God, redeemed by the blood of the Lamb, and possessed by the precious Holy Spirit. Spirit. Christ in me, the hope of glory. glory. The Bible said, For God so loved this world. You know, people try to tell God how to decorate his word. What kind of people to make? We don't like it. We don't like this one because this one right wrong thing. No. We are all children of the most high God. And we have to come together, live together, work to God, work together. Because God is coming back for the church. Mm -hmm. Who are the church? Who are the church? We are the church. We have to work together. Listen to what the Bible says. He that winneth souls. Yeah. I'm finishing. He that winneth souls is what? Wife. Oh, so <laughs> yeah. You should know that. <laughs> he that winneth souls is wise. Amen. Amen. So we have to tell each other. The yeah. prophet said, go and tell them. Tell them to be holy. Bring them in. Change your life with what the word of God. Yes. Sometimes we go on the street, people criticize you. People look down. But it doesn't matter. Because their day is coming. Right? To go into the kingdom of God. Mm -hmm. Okay, here I go see the video. No. I want to hear well done, good and faithful. Because each and every one of us here is going to be judged by God. Mm -hmm. I have called you. What did you do? I have called you. What did you do? Did you say to the one? Did you make a to Did you come into the house of God? Did you worship? And all these questions, I realize sometimes I say, oh, thank God I just say, but we are Amen. I went to Bible school. Someone didn't stand up and say, Yo, I went to Bible school, graduated from Bible school. Amen. I ordained pastor. We registered in the city. I registered also in the court house. So we can marry people. We can do funeral, all those things. We have a license. We are licensed preacher. When I when I come over to this ministry, I was an apostle. I have my certificate as an apostle. I have about three different certificates. We are not fly back now. We are ordained minister of the gospel. When we come over to this one, we just look at it and say, oh, we are that, we are that, we are that. No. We are ordained. We have a license to show that we are ordained minister. And we also went to Bible school a couple years. 
study the word of God. So we, we know a little bit about the Bible. We are not by that now. We know about the Bible. Amen. And I'm saved more than 40 years. Travel all over preach, baptize people. So we know about God. And we know about the word of God. We are not five by that. We know. Amen. So the Bible says, study to show yourself a truth. We have to know God by ourselves. We have to study the word by ourselves. Let no one distract you from the truth. Because the whole are the ritual. So each and every one of us have to study the word, know the word. Let no one, let no one deceive us. Because we live in today as a society when people deceive us. And the Bible said, we don't own an ash. No one will see God. To serve God, it takes sacrifice. Right now, we are planning to go to the free market. We have a boat up there. We have to go and renew it and get a place to bury it. Amen. They go ready to fix it up because we're not going there because they see that we're going there to be souls. That's why we want to go. And it's not easy to get up and grab all the way up there. She came, she know. She came up. And come back down. The first time we were there for eight o'clock, then four o'clock. Oh God, when I get up, I was so tired. I was so tired because it's kind of but you meet people, you tell them, you tell them, they get the word, they get the word. He, everything takes sacrifice. We have to sacrifice. The little life what we have left, we have to sacrifice ourselves to serve God. Amen. And I'm looking forward to go. And I'm looking forward to go. It's that easy to drive all the way up and drive from back to the people. But my desire is to serve God. What is your desire to do? What is your sacrifice? What do you want to do for Christ? If you should die this very second, this very day, do we know where we will be spent our eternity? We are working, we are laboring in the vineyard because the Bible said, But God so loved this world. And my beloved, remember only what you do for Christ shall last. We are here, every one of us here. And God is watching us and He's speaking. God is watching us. You know what we say about living the moon. If I'm criticizing you, you know. If I'm, if I'm criticizing you, God know. If I'm criticizing that man, God know in our heart. So our heart has to be clean of each other. Don't let nothing foolish be dwell in your heart. Let your heart be clean. My beloved, examine yourself, not the next person up here. Examine yourself. Am I really holy? Am I right? If God should come today, am I ready? Am I really ready? <laughs> we have to examine ourselves. Because we might go into a room, all over there, fall asleep, and then never wake up. We know so many people go to the bed and never wake up. Never wake up. I said to myself, I wake up one morning. I can't get to that. I can't see the back of the night. I'm going to go to the kitchen. Not feeling it with my head to speak. That's the best of the best. Went to the kitchen. I'm going to make some tea. Next thing I realize, I hear Leroy, 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 Leroy. Leroy. Blacked out. Never blacked out before. Blacked out. In my eyes, open. In my eyes, it is never open. This chunk of flesh go back to the earth anytime. When I die, you want to burn it. You want to burn it. Let it burn. Because my spirit would have and my soul live forever in eternity. Eternity is a long time. And to ever think about eternity, have you ever think about life with Christ? 
You wake up, no more pain. Because sometimes when you wake up in the morning, you fight this morning, I wake up, I feel like I just go back in my bed and I sleep, sleep, sleep. But I have to fight myself and push myself to be here. Have you ever think about eternity? It's a long time living with Jesus Christ. No more pain, no more sickness, no more disease, no more heartache, blood pressure, heart problem, kidney problem, lungs problem, and all kind of problem. We have to have. Amen. Amen. We love Jesus just that way. Sister Pamela, why won't you clap your hand? You love Jesus? I, I, I see you clap, clap. <laughs> <laughs> Amen. Amen. I don't like the Jesus. Amen. Okay, we're winding down here. So um, what we're going to do now is just pray all these prayer requests here and uh, pray over the offering today. And... Um, Try to wrap it up. Hopefully, it's still come on for a week. Things are a little slower than here sometimes. Yeah. So, just come on up, everybody. We're going to agree in prayer. We have prayer requests in this folder here. Okay? Anything that's not finished? I don't know. Um. Brother Bob, we need a new phone. We need a phone. What else? Large Bible. Large Bible. Yes, large Bible. Yeah. Remember, we meet here at 12 o'clock next Sunday. Next Sunday, 